a visitor from deep space is racing toward the sun. 3. I, Atlas. But this is no ordinary object. It's shedding nickel and iron at an exceptional rate. Its light polarization is unprecedented, and its tail is pointing toward the sun, the opposite of normal physics. With a growing list of anomalies, what are we seeing? A comet unlike any other? Or is this the first glimpse of a technological artifact? 3i Atlas is shedding nickel and iron at what astrophysicists call an exceptional rate while still far from the sun. This interstellar object has become increasingly unusual with each new observation, displaying characteristics that researchers describe as unprecedented among known asteroids and comets. The object was discovered on July 1st by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile. It's designated 3I because it's the third interstellar object we've ever detected passing through our solar system. Astrophysicists are confident it came from outside the solar system because they can calculate its trajectory. It's clearly not a bound object in the solar system, and it's very unlikely to have come from the Oort cloud, the roughly spherical swarm of small icy objects that surrounds our solar system. Objects from the Oort cloud have very small initial velocities when they fall toward the inner solar system. 3i Atlas doesn't fit this pattern. This is why astrophysicists are confident it really came from far away, from interstellar space beyond our solar system's boundaries. The velocity and trajectory calculations leave little doubt about its interstellar origin. Most astrophysicists think it's a comet, a body mostly made of ice that starts evaporating as it gets closer to the sun, creating the characteristic comet tail. But if it's a comet, it's displaying multiple oddities that set it apart from any comet we've studied before. Each new observation seems to add another unusual characteristic to the growing list. A recent study on the Archiv reports that 3i Atlas is shedding nickel and iron at exceptional rates. This metal shedding behavior differs significantly from typical comets in our solar system. The object also emits carbon dioxide and water in what researchers call an unusual ratio. Some have suggested this ratio would fit with exhaust from a propulsion system, though this remains highly speculative and unconfirmed. The scientific community treats such suggestions with appropriate skepticism while continuing to gather data. Another recent paper found that the object changes the polarization of light in a way researchers describe as unprecedented among asteroids and comets. This optical behavior hasn't been observed in other solar system objects we've studied. Polarization changes tell us about the surface properties and composition of celestial objects. And three, I Atlas is showing patterns we haven't seen before. These measurements provide crucial information about the object's surface texture and material properties. Despite still being far from the sun, 3i Atlas has developed a tail that's pointing toward the sun rather than away from it. Astrophysicists have described this as not common and possibly observed for the first time. Comet tails typically point away from the sun due to solar wind and radiation pressure, making this inward pointing tail another anomaly that challenges our understanding. The physics of tail formation is well understood for solar system comets, making this observation particularly puzzling. The object follows an unusual trajectory, moving almost in the plane of our solar system. This alignment with the ecliptic plane where planets orbit is noteworthy for an interstellar visitor. It will pass close to three major planets, Mars, Jupiter and Venus. Its closest approach to the Sun will occur on October 29th, positioning it on the opposite side of the Sun from Earth at that time. This geometry will make observations challenging during the crucial perihelion passage. 3. I. Atlas is moving unusually fast compared to typical solar system objects. It's the fastest of the three interstellar objects we've detected so far. 
the high velocity is consistent with an unbound hyperbolic orbit that will take it back to interstellar space after this single passage through our solar system. Some observers have argued that it doesn't seem to be tumbling as much as expected, or that it appears to have some self-illumination, though these claims remain unverified and highly debated within the scientific community. Without confirmation from multiple independent observations, these characteristics remain tentative. The question of how unusual this object actually is depends on what we compare it to. This is only the third interstellar object we've ever seen, giving us very little basis for comparison. The first was Umamua, discovered in 2017, which showed no visible cometary activity despite passing close to the Sun. The second was Tu, I. Borisov, in 2019, which appeared more comet-like but still had unusual characteristics. With such a small sample size, determining what's normal for interstellar objects remains challenging. We're essentially trying to understand a population from just three examples. Why does 3IATLAS travel so close to the plane where planets orbit? One possibility is selection bias. If it wasn't near this plane, we might not have detected it at all. Our detection capabilities are optimized for finding objects relatively close to the ecliptic plane where most solar system objects travel. This could mean many interstellar objects pass through our solar system undetected because they travel at high inclinations to the planetary plane. The apparent concentration near the ecliptic might be an artifact of our observation strategies rather than a real characteristic of interstellar objects. The close approaches to Mars, Jupiter and Venus raise questions about the object's path through our solar system. If this were a deliberately chosen orbit, as some have speculated without evidence, why does it stay away from Earth, the one planet in the habitable zone? This pattern doesn't support the hypothesis of intentional navigation. A spacecraft attempting to study our solar system would likely prioritize Earth, the only planet we know harbors life. The actual trajectory seems more consistent with random gravitational interactions than deliberate planning. One hypothesis that some researchers suggest deserves consideration is that 3 Ia TLAS could be a piece of space debris from another civilization. The reasoning follows from probability arguments. If intelligent civilizations exist elsewhere in our galaxy, which many scientists consider highly likely based on the vast number of stars and planets, they would presumably have exploration missions and technology. Over time, this would create technological debris drifting through interstellar space. The galaxy is billions of years old, potentially allowing for accumulation of such artifacts. The possibility that a broken alien spacecraft might drift through our solar system is unlikely but not impossible from a statistical perspective. However, we have no evidence that 3IATLAS is alien technology. The most plausible explanation remains that it's a comet, albeit one very different from those we've observed before. Natural processes in other stellar systems could produce objects with properties unfamiliar to us. Different formation environments, stellar radiation fields, and planetary system architectures could all contribute to unusual characteristics. Scientists face a challenging balance when evaluating unusual phenomena. They must avoid type 2 errors where a false hypothesis isn't rejected. The claim that vaccines cause autism is a typical example of a hypothesis that science has thoroughly rejected based on extensive evidence. Scientists regularly combat these errors by demanding sufficient evidence before accepting claims. They use the principle of insufficient evidence to dismiss unsupported hypotheses. This skepticism protects science from accepting false ideas. But there's also the risk of type 1 errors, where a true hypothesis gets erroneously rejected. 
The idea that bacteria can cause cancer was once dismissed, but later proven correct in specific cases, such as Helicobacter pylori, causing stomach cancer. These errors can persist in science for long periods because rejected hypotheses don't attract research attention. Scientists tend not to think about the consequences of failing to acknowledge a truth. Historical examples show how premature rejection can delay important discoveries. This balance becomes particularly important when considering something as consequential as potential alien technology. Not examining a possible piece of alien technology because of excessive skepticism could theoretically be one of the biggest mistakes our civilization could make. At the same time, making unfounded claims about alien visitors would damage scientific credibility and public trust in science. The challenge is maintaining appropriate skepticism while remaining open to genuine anomalies. The accumulation of unusual characteristics in three IIA-TLAS raises legitimate questions about its nature. Scientific papers describe it using terms like unusual, unprecedented, exceptional, and observed for the first time. How many oddities does an object need to display before it warrants extraordinary scrutiny? At what point do accumulated anomalies suggest we might be looking at something genuinely different from our expectations? The exceptional nickel and iron shedding rates distinguish three, IEA, TL, AS, from known comets in our solar system. The unusual carbon dioxide to water ratio doesn't match typical comet compositions we've studied. The unprecedented polarization changes affect how the object interacts with light in ways we haven't documented before. The possibly first ever observed sun-facing tail contradicts our understanding of how solar radiation shapes comet tails through radiation pressure and solar wind interactions. Each of these characteristics might have natural explanations that we haven't yet discovered. Interstellar objects formed in different stellar systems under different conditions. They might have compositions and behaviours unlike anything in our solar system. The chemistry and physics of other stellar systems could produce objects with properties we've never encountered. Our models are based entirely on solar system objects, which might not represent the full range of possibilities. Consider the vast differences in formation environments across the galaxy. Our solar system formed from a specific cloud of gas and dust with particular elemental abundances about 4.6 billion years ago. Other stellar systems formed from different clouds with different compositions at different times in galactic history. The temperature profiles, radiation environments, and gravitational dynamics during formation would all differ. These variations could produce comets with unusual ice mixtures, different structural properties, and unexpected outgassing behaviors. The fast speed of 3 IATLAS compared to solar system objects makes sense for an interstellar visitor. Objects from outside need significant velocity to enter our solar system against the sun's gravity. The minimum speed for an interstellar object at Earth's distance from the sun is about 42 kilometers per second. The trajectory near the planetary plane might result from gravitational focusing effects that make detection more likely for objects in certain orientations. This could create an observational bias in our sample of detected interstellar objects. The limited tumbling motion some observers report could result from the object's shape or internal structure. Elongated objects can have stable rotation states that appear unusual compared to the chaotic tumbling we might expect. The reported self-illumination remains highly uncertain and could be observational error or misinterpretation of reflected light patterns. Without repeated observations confirming these characteristics using different instruments and techniques, they remain tentative at best.
scientists studying 3IATLAS face the fundamental challenge of distinguishing between genuinely anomalous characteristics and apparent oddities that result from our limited understanding of interstellar objects. With only three examples observed so far, we lack the statistical basis to define normal behavior for these visitors. We're essentially trying to understand an entire population from an extremely small sample, which makes any conclusions tentative. The scientific process requires careful documentation of all observed characteristics, even those that seem unusual or unprecedented. Rigorous data collection and analysis form the foundation for eventual understanding. If we ever do observe genuine alien technology, it would likely first appear in scientific literature, described with cautious terms like exceptional and unusual, with detailed data relegated to supplementary figures while researchers quietly grapple with the implications. Science proceeds through careful accumulation of evidence rather than dramatic announcements. The study of 3IATLAS continues as it approaches the sun. Each observation adds data that either supports or challenges our understanding of what this object is. Spectroscopic observations might reveal more about its composition. Photometric measurements track its brightness changes. Astrometric observations refine its trajectory. Whether it proves to be an unusual comet, space debris, or something else entirely, it's already expanding our knowledge of what travels between the stars. The conversation about 3IATLAS and its unusual properties serves an important scientific function beyond just understanding this one object. It keeps researchers alert to possibilities while maintaining rigorous standards of evidence. Even if this object proves entirely natural, the discussion prepares us for future observations and ensures we don't dismiss important discoveries due to preconceptions. The scientific community learns from each unusual observation refining methods and expanding conceptual frameworks. As 3, iAtlas continues its journey through our solar system, telescopes worldwide track its progress. The October 29th solar approach will provide the best opportunity to study its composition and behavior under strong solar heating. The increased solar radiation will likely trigger more outgassing, potentially revealing more about the object's composition and structure. Whatever we learn will add to our small but growing database of interstellar visitors, each one teaching us about the cosmos beyond our solar neighborhood. The broader implications of studying objects like 3IATLAS extend to our understanding of planetary system formation and evolution throughout the galaxy. These interstellar visitors are samples from other stellar systems delivered to our doorstep by orbital dynamics. They carry information about conditions and processes in their systems of origin, providing data we couldn't obtain any other way without interstellar missions. The trajectory of 3 IATLAS will take it back to interstellar space after its solar encounter. This visitor will leave our solar system, continuing its journey through the galaxy for perhaps millions or billions of years before encountering another star. But the data collected during its passage will remain, contributing to our understanding of what populates the space between stars and what messages these wanderers might carry from distant stellar systems.